Oh, so what's good? So what we're doing right now is um I'm with Ash, as y'all can see. We got the camera rolling. And uh, you know, on this journey of the reintroduction of Ronnie, y'all know I left for LA, did all of that, then we went into the pandemic. Of course, y'all know I was doing the tours and all that kind of stuff, being that guy singing for everybody, doing everything for everybody else. While trying to promote my own stuff, well, coming back to Nashville, because I have moved back, I had to kind of downsize because I got a lot of shows and all this kind of stuff that I got to do. So I'm no longer in my big house. I had to downsize to an apartment just for a minute. Like I said, just give me a little space to get ready to run around and do everything I got to do before I can go ahead and purchase my next house, whatever case may be. But with that being said, um, we're coming out of the pandemic, it looks like. Um, the world is opening back up, so I'm able to come back and do my live shows and stuff like that. And what y'all hear right now is the documentary of Kanye West going ballistic. I wish I could find the remotes so I can... Uh, Turn it down a little bit, cause uh, when I like to do my stuff, I like to be inspired a little bit. So I watch things that uh, inspire me. So what y'all about to see is my black ass get up and look for the remote before I tell you what I really want to tell you, cause I have no idea where it is and I don't lose stuff. I don't lose stuff. So you got lost because somebody moved a pillow and put it on top of the remote. I'm not gonna say who Ash, but somebody put the pillow on top of the remote. Virgos don't lose stuff. The name of the show is gonna be called This Life. It's this life with me, baby. So anyway, what I'm doing right now is um getting ready to prepare for my next, my first live show, which is gonna be called Ronnie Live, as y'all already know. And this is gonna be Ronnie Live, the introduction or the reintroduction or whatever. So I'm trying to go ahead and get my little timeline of what my show is gonna look like with all my music and all that kind of stuff. Y'all know I put out the first two albums, but the thing about the first two albums is. They were soft released. I never did like a actual hard release of stuff. It was soft release, which means that I never shopped it out to like any labels or anything like that. I literally created the album myself. I had a couple of friends help me out. Marcus Perry, uh, Myron Watkins, Barbara McClure, uh, Tiny Stringfellow, my brother. He helped me write a couple of songs that y'all really like on the album. Uh, even Lewis Cross came and helped and do some, uh, some backgrounds on one of the songs. But other than that, most of everything else was produced, written, sang by yours truly. So, um, like I said, that very first album afforded me the opportunity to move to L.A. Actually, y'all purchased it and a whole bunch of other people purchased them enough to like literally shift me over to L.A., which I did that on um, a management deal with Opulent Vision Management Group. They helped get me to L.A., got to L.A. and uh, went ballistic. You know, of course, y'all know, everybody knows my first day there, I ended up doing a session with Celine Dion and all that kind of stuff, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, like I said, I spent four years in L.A., came on back to Nashville, and like I said, that was pandemic. So now, coming out of the pandemic, uh, I got to get back to work. I've been working for everybody else. Y'all see me on CMA, Christmas with Reba, and Dustin Lynch, and... Trisha Yearwood, I've been doing all the country stuff, and y'all know I do all the gospel stuff. Any gospel artists, Bobby Jones, the y'all name them, I done sang with them. So now I got to come back and um start doing stuff for me. I got to do my stuff. So what I'm gonna do this time is uh we're revamping both of those first two projects so I can actually do a, my first hard release, baby. We're going for Grammys this year, okay? We're going for Grammys. So again. What I'm sitting here doing now is trying to prepare for my first show. So I got to sit here, go through venues and all that kind of stuff. And tomorrow, y'all see, we're going to kind of go around and shop some venues or whatnot um, to try to see where I want to do my first show. Um, but again, um, I got a whole new team, a whole new thing, a whole new perception of what I want to do. So um, like I said, we're going we're gonna to see what we can get done between this time and this time next year and see what we're looking like. But uh, yeah, so... Once I get everything out, hopefully you'll be sitting front row and center at the show. But in the meantime, I got to get back to work. So we'll see y'all when we see you. Peace out. I get it. They may even wreck your world sometimes, right? <laughs> but we got to throw it up for them. Trying to see just what I'm doing, what I'm doing, what I'm doing, how I'm doing, what I'm doing. Funding my.
grind constantly My number one fan was secretly yeah. They pushed me to go hard as a mother Not realizing they pushed me to go farther Oh, I think they like me Instead of saying they would rather get together And hate on me Yo, what's up everybody? You know what? I know you don't know my name because I ain't told you yet, but we'll get to that point in a second. But as of right now, as y'all can see, I'm setting up. What am I setting up for exactly? Well, this is what the beginning phases of an entire live music show looks like. Most of the time people think that it has something to do with rehearsing and singing and playing and all that kind of stuff. It has absolutely nothing to do with that. It absolutely has everything to do with food, water, you know, the necessities of life, but nothing to do with music. Why? Because singers and musicians, if you don't feed them, they're not happy. So we don't exactly. start off with a song. We start off with niggas in the background who've heard absolutely nothing but food and water and yell out. Exactly. So just to prove my point, yo, what's up, everybody? My name is Ronnie. And uh, you're getting ready to get in on the makings of a show that I'm doing here in Nashville. And uh, again, it doesn't start with music. It starts with food. So just to do something simple, we're actually getting ready to hop into rehearsal, but before we do any of that, I want to make sure that my people are good and happy, full and all that kind of stuff. So they eat good, they'll sing better, they'll play better. So again, it doesn't start off with singing, it actually starts off with what you see me doing right now. So let me just show you real quick what I prepared for them. It ain't nothing fancy, razzle dazzle, it ain't none of that. So it's really simple. We're doing like a little taco salad situation ordeal. So they can either do their tacos or whatever, but I can tell you when it comes to the meat, I prepared it myself, so I know it's fire. But again, like I said, this is just our little setup. This is the uh, music that happens before the singing gets started. So we'll start off here, and uh, as y'all stick with me, y'all, I got my boy Ash with me. He the one that's recording right now. So as y'all stick with me, we're going to hop off into this thing, and uh, we'll give y'all a little bit of music later. But as of right now, I got to get ready to get ready to get these people to where they got to be so we can eat, so we can hop off into the rehearsal. We out.
So, um, vigorous, vigorous rehearsal we're having here, but, um, yeah, I'm tired. It's, well, I don't even know what time it is. It's like almost, it's 10 o'clock, which it ain't too it's late, too but too to be doing this for hours and hours and hours and hours, this is the fun stuff. This is what I signed up for, so I can't complain, but what I am going to complain about is me eating because I'm starving. <laughs> no. We've been in rehearsal since since seven o'clock, right? Yeah. It is now eleven forty-six. That's really ten minutes fast, but just for dramatic effect, it's eleven forty-six, and uh, we're just now walking out. The one thing that definitely got done was uh, those tacos got ate, right? Yeah. But get ready for the dark side of the truth. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> so, look, I know that um, in doing this kind of stuff, sometimes I can get a little in trouble because uh, one thing y'all gonna learn about me and my personality is uh, I'm a very upfront person and I don't know how to fake stuff and even my feelings and all that shit is going to show. But before we do that, let me do this. Hey, my boy. My boy. When do you leave? I'm leaving at 6 a.m., bro. Y'all, that's my boy, Keith. Keith, this is the people. People, that's what Keith. Up, people? Yeah, so he's the MD for the show. Yeah, that, I'm uh, back. He just got ready to do it. And all I'm going <laughs> to do is this, and I bet you I can make him walk back to his car. Watch this. How did you enjoy those backgrounds? Yeah, we're about to talk about it. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. We're about to we'll talk about we're about We're about to talk about this, all right? So listen, let me tell y'all something about my friends. Those motherfuckers are great. They can sing... They can, I mean, they really can't sing. I probably should roll the window up and turn the air on, huh? They can, um, but I don't care. I want some air. It's, I want outside air. They can sing. Now, the only thing about them is they be booked, and I get it. They be booked. They got different shows and all that kind of stuff and everything else. But this is where I differ from them. Oh, shit. Well, the first thing we differ is all of our doors got to be closed, and this back door back here is not who wants to go for a trip? Again, as I was saying, my friends are cold-blooded. They can sing like no other, but the thing that differs between me and them, when it comes to a rehearsal, I don't care whose rehearsal it is. I'm going to be ready. Were my friends ready for this rehearsal tonight? What was that? Were my friends ready for the rehearsal tonight? I don't think I should say it again because I might get mad all over again. So, <laughs> again, as, as I was sitting in the rehearsal, you know, some of us kind of got a little road map up early day. Hey, W.O. Smith, there goes my school. That's my charity, If just in case y'all wondered, that's what that is. But anyway, um, you know, they had a little grasp. I knew there was gonna specifically be one person that hadn't, cause she had just, she literally just got it from back from Ireland and was on the road with Gloria Gaynor and all that kind of stuff. So I knew that there was gonna be some moments there, but I think my moment or my level of frustration kind of kicks in when I sent music weeks ago. I sent a rundown of the show weeks ago. So even if you didn't know it like by heart, it's the whole thing of being somewhat familiar. That's the part that kind of... And see, this is probably the stuff that I probably shouldn't be telling y'all out loud, but this is a vlog. If we, if we gotta go there, we gotta go there. I'm, I'm trying to get these views and get this stuff. Like, I don't, I'm not the one, I'm gonna tell y'all what it is. And they know what it is, because it is what it is. But the one thing I can tell you about them, even though rehearsal may have sucked, check them out on Friday. By Friday, which is why I'm not complaining. Because at the end of the day, when it's time for the show to get going, it's gonna be done. And that's the one thing I love about all my friends. Now we do gotta go through the frustration of rehearsal because I'm like, damn, since y'all music weeks ago, why are you asking me for songs and stuff now? I sent it, check your email, check your text, check all your shit, I've been done. This is the stuff that singers and stuff go to. But again, at the end of the day, check them out Friday. 
they gonna look good they gonna I already know so that's why I'm not really tripping but as far as the headache for tonight I got one and you know what I'm gonna do with this headache of mine I'm gonna drink this motherfucker away I'm gonna drink tonight I'm not gonna drink that bad I'm probably gonna have a couple of drinks and then just to help me go to sleep to ease my mind a little nightcap but um yo what y'all saw at the rehearsal it can get very vigorous it's literally rerunning a whole hour show and the crazy thing about it is i do a lot of spontaneous stuff look at hold on wait pause on what i'm talking about look at these drunk helpers right here oh we drunk unk. hey my girl <laughs> hey hey Oh, they didn't want to talk to us. We didn't want, we didn't want they old asses, no way. Them old hell, look at them. Oh. Hey, both of you gonna look like a chimichurri. Ha ha! Hey, you can't say. Yeah, so anyway, back to what I was talking about. Yo, this is this is what it is. This is what, this is what a life of a uh, singer looks like, especially the ones that's out here working and doing stuff. We stay in rehearsals all day, and literally today is, what day is it? What day of the week is this? This is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. The show is on Friday. I specifically usually always set my shows out a couple of days because usually I go hard in rehearsals. Today, I did not go hard at all. I wasn't really trying to sing. I really wasn't trying to do nothing. Just give them enough just for the show because I'm one of them type of singers that I give it my all and I even do it at rehearsal. So I have to set my rehearsals a couple of days out for my actual show so I can sit and do nothing, rest my voice, and all that kind of stuff. So tomorrow, we'll be putting the final pieces on um, the rest of the show. We got like merchandise stuff and all that kind of crap. So um, that's basically what the day will look like. So tonight has been, tonight has been fun rocking with y'all and uh, I guess we'll see y'all sometime tomorrow morning. I don't do morning, so when I say tomorrow morning, it's gonna definitely be after 3 p.m. So we'll see you when you see you. This is the city of Nashville, baby. That's what it looks like. And we out, my boy. Yo, what's up, everybody? So as y'all know, y'all been with me for the last couple of days. We have set up from rehearsals to venues, to all this kind of stuff. Now we are actually, um, we had a little hiccup, but things worked out. So we're actually back in the same rehearsal space to make sure that we uh, do the showcase for all the industry people, the bankers and investors we're going to do it uh back here thank god it was open for us to be able to do so so as you can see the room right now is really naked this is what it looks like right now it's nothing really in here the chairs have been set up we still got other stuff coming the uh interior designers come to set in the room and the stage and all that kind of stuff the band yada yada blah blah as you can see i'm kind of drenched in sweat because we have been moving stuff from everywhere just to get it back here so it's going to be a, a great time tonight. Um, got a lot of singing I got to do, but in the meantime, I still have to go make a liquor store run, and I have to go get a haircut, and I got to go get my clothes ready because you know the kid is going to be freshly, freshly, fresh. So I got to do that, and then I have to do the one important thing is I need to sit my ass down somewhere and rest because I've been running like a Hebrew all morning. So that's what it is right now. Like I said, you see this now. Hopefully the next time you see me do this, it'll be something totally different. So Yeah, yeah. you know you got yeah. this boy. Proud of you in the motherfucking cut, you know what I'm saying? Man? Who is that guy? He's waiting for the Papa John's manager. Dang, dang, man. <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll catch y'all later. Peace out. <laughs> everybody so um it is showtime actually and uh i've been running all day y'all can hear my voice it's a little tired but when it's time to do what it's time to do it's gonna be time to do what it's time to do that's probably come coming on stage with me probably i'm probably going to take probably this one. I, yeah, I know it ain't nothing fancy but jim bean it's a california thing it's i got stuck on it so that's what i'm probably gonna have on stage with me but um the next time y'all see me, I'll be dressed and uh, impressed, ready to, you know, do my thing. As of right now, um, I'm about to sit down. Probably try to eat some chicken and chips. Get a little greasy thing going on. And, uh, y'all, 
I'm not tired. I'm excited. Don't don't believe what's going on, but we here. We done made it. Your boy Ronnie. See y'all soon. No, no, no. But I can't let you go that easy. Cause my whole life. Well, I've been looking for you. Too late for apologies, yeah. Got to tell you just how much, girl, baby, I care. Tell you this one simple thing You're the only one I want, girl, baby, I swear Cause girl, you know I love you You're everything I want, you're everything I need Everything that I'll ever desire Baby, it's true Cause you're everything I want, you're everything I need